Hey guys, what's going on today? I thought I would talk about my most anticipated game of 2016, Dishonored 2. This game just came out yesterday and I've been playing it for several hours now, so I thought I would share my first impressions with you guys. First thing I have to say is that this game is a ton of fun. It brings a ton of new elements to the game while still feeling like the original Dishonored. This game brings an entirely new twist by allowing you to play as either Corvo or Emily. Each have their own different abilities, different benefits, and even a storyline to some degree. Corvo has all the same abilities he had in the last game, so if you played the last game and you want a similar experience, Corvo is definitely the better option. However, Emily has some pretty insane abilities, so I would definitely recommend checking her out. Her abilities and everything she brings to the table brings a completely new perspective to this game. When I first started the game, I decided to play as Corvo because I'm familiar with his abilities and I felt that it would definitely benefit my playstyle, maybe make it a little easier for me. However, even with my knowledge of Corvo and his abilities, I still found the game to be reasonably challenging. I feel like Dishonored 2 really perfected the difficulty of this game. Levels are designed extremely well, phenomenally, and are created with equal benefits for both characters, Emily and Corvo. This time around, the levels are much more complex. Going straight after your target is pretty much impossible. You are almost required to explore. And once you explore the different levels and find different ways to kill your target, it really leads to a ton of different creative ways to kill your target. So you really can play the game however you want. And the game actually does a great job of rewarding players for exploring. So definitely when you go out into the world, explore... Try and look around as much as you can. You are definitely rewarded for it. Now, I have to talk about the graphics of this game. Dishonored was never really known for having great graphics, so I didn't really expect much from this game. However, I was a bit surprised with how this game looks. Uh, it retained the same art style that it had while making some minor graphical updates that actually make the game look really great. Now, obviously it's not as great as a game like The Witcher 3 or Skyrim Remastered or anything like that, but it is a pretty good looking game. I think overall they did a great job with it. But with all that being said, we have to talk about the negatives of this game, especially for the PC crowd. The port has a ton of bugs, performance issues. Right now on Steam, the game has a 54% positive rating and that is just horrible. Now, to be fair and to try and defend Dishonored 2 a little bit, these reviews came in before the game was even released, and it is a Bethesda game, you have to realize that. And I don't think there's been a Bethesda game in the history of Bethesda games that day one released perfectly, had no bugs, no patches, nothing. So, uh... Given their track record, I don't expect anything less than bugs and performance issues day one. And I know that's unfortunate. No one wants to expect bugs and issues, but uh, you kind of got it with Bethesda. I just say give it a few days and they'll probably patch it. They always do. They're always really good about it. And I'm sure after they patch it, everyone's going to love the game and it's going to be just amazing and magical and everyone's going to be all happy again. But all in all, I think this is an amazing game, and after playing it for a few hours, I have to say that I still think it's a great contender for Game of the Year. If you want a great single player experience, this is definitely my top recommendation of 2016. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys picked up Dishonored 2? If you did, what do you think of it? If you did not, are you going to pick it up? Let me know, and if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe for more videos like this in the future, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.